to separate this. We're going to stabilize that in. And we're going to just wrap that piece up. This is going to be the one that's going to be the, the hard one. This is a very flat, very big ball. So we can see as I'm flexing this, you can see that crack's wanting to open up. See, now we've not broke this bone. All we've done is just not put glue into that crack. Every one of these would have came apart like this naturally if we had let it. You can we see where to, we've glued it. Yeah, we had to glue all these to keep it from falling apart. But we on purpose left this unglued so that we could do this. So so here's, here's something that, just to show everybody. So as I'm moving this, you can see a second crack opening up. So what I'm going to do is determine which one is the cleanest crack that looks like it wants to be a nice clean break that'll go back together so we don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna glue this one, put it back together. This accelerator, that'll make it set up really quick so we're not burning a half hour of film time waiting for glue to set up. see one little teeny piece wanting to separate right there just so we don't lose it and hopefully it's a nice clean break so when we put that back together that's gonna be just a nice clean break Reynolds aluminum foil company we are using your foil <laughs> to dig dinosaurs. A lot of your foil. A lot of your foil. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome to have a sponsorship deal with guys digging dinosaurs using your foil? Your foil is so tough and so great that we use it to wrap dinosaurs. And then we go back to camp and eat ribs, cook with your foil. That's right. <laughs> the reason why we use aluminum foil is because it molds to the bone and it's almost like a like a cast. Like a cast. We'll actually put all these foils together and wrap it all up wrap in it all one up to one, but that's pretty much it. Perfect. Guys, this is awesome. So we've got one out, we've got more going in, so we're gonna focus down, concentrate, and continue going.